YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another garage sale haul for you. Uh, today, we actually broke our record of 51 we just recently made and hit 52. But I only spent $76 and I actually got way less than you'd think I would at 52 sales. I am trying to be more selective of what I buy, not only for my booth, but also for eBay. So let's dig right in and show you what we got. I got this awesome scarf, actually, for my daughter. It was only a dollar. It's got owls on it. Um, I don't have much spare time, but when I do, I like to play some of the uh, hidden object games. All of these games, there's what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They were three for a dollar at a garage sale, so I only spent three dollars on all of them. Awesome. So those are mine. I got a realistic cassette player for a dollar, vintage of course. Got a one piece of fabric, 75 cents in a bag. Didn't find any fabric other than those few items. Got some lint traps. There are four boxes, two in each. And of course I use these for my laundry uh, when it spits out water in the sink in our basement. So yeah. Those replaced, they were four for a dollar or a quarter each, so very good price. Got this genuine Ford parts enamel sign. Uh, I don't think it's super old, but it is older. Uh, only paid a dollar for it. I was very surprised. It was at a garage sale, didn't have a price. And you know, you hate to ask because you probably don't want to hear the answer, but they said a buck. So awesome, awesome. Uh, this light is <laughs> glaring. Um, I got this really cool little, uh, I don't know, needlepoint item. It says, words to live by. A careless word may, ki ki may kindle strife. A cruel word may ruin a life. A timely word may level stress. A loving word may heal and bless. Isn't that sweet? I just love that. So only paid three dollars for that. Uh, this awesome music sampler I got from a store called Natural Wonders. Do, do any of you remember that? Um, and uh, probably a couple years after I had this CD, our car was broken into and all of our CDs were taken. And that was one of the ones that I liked. This is when my kids were quite small that this happened. So I was glad to get that for a dollar found this adorable Cupid doll, got it in the car, got it home, looked at it. It has a repair on it. Its head was snapped off. So, cautionary tale, keep your eyeballs on stuff, look it over real good before you make a decision. You know the drill. Got for 75 cents this bell. It says, ring for a drink bell. Yeah, I've rang it several times and nobody brought me a drink, so I think it might be defective. I'm not real sure. Uh, sell it anyway. <laughs> Got this awesome galvanized metal number five for two dollars. Tag's coming off. I stuck it on the front. It was inside, but I wanted it to be easily available to see it. It's pretty cool. People like uh, the marquee type letters, so not too bad. Very good investment. Got another <laughs> little lamp that you put a, that you put a tea light or a votive uh, candle in it with the stained glass shade. I uh, believe I paid two dollars for that. This real pretty ones are also hold a tea light. They were a dollar each. Uh, got two packages of sympathy cards. They were only a dollar. Anything boxed or the cards, thank you cards, note cards, invitations, do pretty good on eBay. So I figured those were a good pickup for a quarter. Got this really pretty older uh, beaded handbag. It's in silver. It was two whole dollars. It's in good condition. These are adorable. They're little pig coin, corn, <coughs> Holders. I'll get it. A dollar. Aren't they adorable? So you poke them in your corn and hold it. Look at the little girly doll. So stuff like this. We have a little area with summer kitchen items. 
and that will definitely go to my booth. Two bucks, I got this cute little, it's not even a terrarium, it has no glass or anything in it, but I just thought it was really cute, and people like stuff like this, and two dollars, boy, you can't hardly beat that. Uh, got this basket for two dollars. It's not a longer burger, it's a very heavy made one, and it says made in Vermont. So I might look that up. It's got the little leather handle for a quarter. Got two packages of big pens. They were only 50 cents a piece. This lady had a lot of uh, office supplies and back to school stuff, so she probably picked it up when it was dirt, dirt cheap. And I don't know, you know, when school time started, so. Got those. I got a Fifty Shades of Grey for 50 cents, the first one. I picked up two and three, so I will bundle those and probably list those on eBay or put them in my booth. Got another bird chirping clock. These always do well if I can get them at a decent price. Uh, this one was five. The lady said, I put new batteries in it. <laughs> like, good, that's half the expense, so listen. quiet. So each hour it chirps a different bird and five bucks. People like those. I sell them all the time. Sell also other ones that make different noises. This one's nice because it has the sensor in it so if the room is dark it will be quiet at night <laughs> which is nice. Um, you ever seen these? A little purse mate it's a little hook that goes on the table so that you can hang your purse uh, if you're at a restaurant so you don't have to set it on the dirty floor there's supposed to be two in here I have not looked let me look now <laughs> it was only a quarter uh, yep there's two of them in there so that's pretty cool I got this cute little uh, hanging thing you put in your tree for three dollars and it says here birdie birdie <laughs> so I thought that was cute and I have lots of places in my booth to hang stuff like that up so that's where that will go and oh dear oh dear <laughs> and the dog hears the word deer no pixel there's no deer so these two <laughs> were at a garage sale uh, I think she had 30 yeah, 30 or 35 each. Um, and I was kind of ham hawing. They do not sell for me. They do not sell for a lot. Well, they don't sell for a huge amount. And they don't sell, sell necessarily fast. But they do sell. So I'm going to be taking these out to the booth. I may even stick one on Craigslist, see if I can get my money. Probably 65 to 70. I got in the car, was getting ready to leave, and then I pulled back up and I leaned out the window and said, would you do 40 for both? And she stood there going, uh, I was expecting her to say no, kind of in a way, hoping she'd say no. And she goes, sure. And I was like, oh, okay. So I paid $20 each. They are very well done. I know people are creeped out by these and don't like them. And that's perfectly fine. I completely get it. I completely understand it. But people do have them. These are very expensive to have done. But uh, this is definitely a man cave item. So, you know, put one out. Maybe toward the end of the year, maybe I'll string lights on its antlers or something cute. Who knows? But that was a good deal. Definitely worth picking up. If I can get 70 bucks a piece... 140 that's a $100 uh, profit since I spent 40 on them. So, yeah. So, I know if this offends you, I apologize. The cat and the dog were not crazy about these coming in the house. And <laughs> my son's girlfriend and my daughter's boyfriend were totally creeped out by them and refused to even be anywhere near them. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Neither is it mine, but hey, they sell. They were already dead when I got there. Uh, it's not my fault. So, But that is all I got. Like I said, I expected to have more with 52 sales. But 
I don't know. Just one of those days, you never know. And when you get a little more picky about what you're picking up, uh, you have to hit more sales because you're not going to come home with as much as you normally do if you just grab stuff. So I will uh, wrap this up by saying please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or any info on anything you've seen, please leave it down in the, in the comment section. I appreciate all of you guys leaving comments. It's fun to see what your take is on a lot of the things that I get or pick up. Um, and I would like to see your videos. What are you guys picking up this summer? Um, it is very hot here. Um, I had one week where it was really nice outside. This past week it was quite hot. And getting in and out of the car a hundred times does not bother me. <laughs> the heat, however, does kind of just pull the plug on my energy. So we struggled through. We were out till probably 3 or 3.30. So that's all I got. Please uh, also follow me on Instagram. I'm still figuring it out. I'm sorry if I haven't posted anything yet. But I do regularly put things on Twitter. So if you could follow me under The Pudgy Picker. And I always take lots of pictures. I did a few pictures of awesome garage sale signs people had up. And also a few other interesting things as I come along with them. So that's all I got. Uh, I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.